Hey there guys, welcome to a brand new episode of my Chelsea career mode. We are diving straight into the action today, no dilly-dallying on the intro. We're going to end the transfer window today, we're going to get loads of games done. And the first one is, if they let me in it, the Crystal Palace game, the second leg. We dominate the first leg, half picked what I would say is a strong and attacking side for the second leg. So let's go, Willian. Tries to dart through a gap that maybe the referee helped us with, still Willian. And still Willian. And he hasn't only got a lot of options, so he goes to Musonda. Musonda tucks back inside here to Willian, who tries to bend it around the defender. Oh, and he nearly crept it in the near post. Unlucky. Munia. Palmer. And here comes Charlie Musonda now. Drop back off here to Casey Palmer, who might be able to get shot away. Casey Palmer shoots. Oh, brilliant save by the goalkeeper. Nice start to the second half. Palmer. Into Barkley. Barkley now laid off here for Willian. Willian back into Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley looks over the top here where Musonda's lurking. Charlie Musonda. Oh, super save. Really, really good save. That would have been a brilliant goal. Willian. Dropped off for Munia. Munia now into Kante. Kante looks for Palmer. Palmer on the spin. Casey Palmer shot. Oh, and I thought it was in. We're getting closer now. Munia. Here comes Charlie Musonda. Musonda will look for Willian over the top. Luckily falls here for Batshuayi. Batshuayi on the spin. Has Munia up there with him. Munia with Kante beaming in beyond here. He asks for the ball. He's got it. And Golo Kante and Batshuayi. And that is the deadly finisher that we needed. That's the deadly finisher that Chelsea loaned out to Dortmund. But he's here in our career mode and he's here to stay. Because he just always scores goals. And especially in the Cups. And while we've played poorly, we really have. But um, yeah, it's been a lethargic display really from a team that know they're already through. But a good ball in that by Kante. Really is. Super header. Corner it's in by Palmer. Batshuayi's header. Brilliant header. 2-0 Chelsea. And he's got two headers to his name. That's the assist for Casey Palmer. That's the second goal for Batshuayi. What a player this man is. 5-0 on Agra. We haven't been our best tonight. But we have indeed got ourselves the winner. Which means that we're now going to be through to the Carabao Cup final. Absolutely superb. I want to take another look at his header though. In a game that we've had a really few chances. But look at this. He blasted in a brilliant glancing header drop the rest and there you have it guys full time 2-0 exactly what the doctor ordered not a good performance but a 2-0 win we probably didn't deserve it so uh, yeah pleased with that on we go and we will indeed be playing Manchester City in the final that's going to be a great game really looking forward to that and we have officially approached deadline day if anything happens over the course of this day I'll let you guys know but I've made a decision on what we're doing with the transfers and that is that I'm not really going to be selling anyone that's not on this and if we do manage to sell either Pedro or David Luiz, of course, then I wouldn't need going for Nathaniel Chalabar. But for now, if players like Van Hinkle have been really good for us of late, we're just going to be keeping it. I'm just decided we don't really need Chalabar, do we? But I would have to get rid of a few players, which we haven't really been doing. Some big deals going through here, though. And well, guys, here we have it with just two hours of deadline day left. It doesn't look like we're going to be getting rid of anyone. And Marcos Alonso, certainly we're not going to be getting with rid of to AC Milan. He is a player here to stay. So it looks like throughout this whole Chelsea career, both David Luiz and Pedro have survived, but they're not going to be playing a minute of football this season. It's just a little bit sad to think about it. Arsenal have got Martinez, they've sold Mustafi and Campbell. And with one hour left, you can now indeed see that nothing has really happened of any greatness on deadline day. And uh, now it's the first of the month, so we've got a few things to deal with, a bit of admin. First up, we've got a youth league scout. Uh, monthly report so as you can see here guys we just got some absolute talent here look at the state of some of these players they are certainly developing nicely in here and have we got any new players coming in that is what we want to see um no not quite yet not really you know and uh, no no real good players on this time something that i haven't shown you guys in a while is the league table this is how it's looking for all 20 teams we are currently sitting top of the pile by more than 20 points i mean it's really unrealistic the way that teams such as spurs you know they've already lost five games only 22 games in you know it's just not really good enough but we have won all 22 of our games a little bit unrealistic i know but it's just a shame that it goes that way but we have got an insane team so that's just the way it's going stoke certainly having a good season as are west brom liverpool and arsenal not so good and now that deadline day is finished we've actually got our squad set for the rest of the season so this is what it's going to look we've got pickford and quarter as goalkeepers moses zappa costa and munier in there dujon sterling also and we've got christensen we've got ake zuma rudiger mananas and aspilicueta got baba alexandro marcos alonso kante bakayoko musonda jeremy boga pasalic We've got Lewis Baker, Fabregas, Drinkwater, Van Hinkle. Uh, we've got Leon Bailey, Kennedy, Loftus-Cheek. Um, we've got here George McEachran, recently coming back from low. And we've got Ross Barkley. We've got Casey Palmer, Torgan Hazard, Willian. Um, we've also got Tammy Abraham, Michi Batshuayi, Alvaro Morata, Kylian Hazard, Insigne and Eden Hazard. We've got some of the world's best players on our teams here. 
um, and it's looking good. And we now have another cup game here. This time it's in the FA Cup. It's the fourth round, and it is going to be at home to Walsall. Should be no issues here. Rudy Grand Bachelor wise struggling a little bit stamina wise, but again, we're going to have plenty of unexperienced players here on the bench ready to come on. You know, Kennedy, he's also a little bit tired, so I doubt he'll be coming on, but we've got some good players here that I'm looking to bring on, certainly in the second half. So let's go. Bailey here, certainly be looking for his first Chelsea goal today. Leon Bailey into Fabregas, into Batshuayi, holds it up nicely. Batshuayi shoots. Oh, what a brilliant goal that is. What a brilliant start for Chelsea. Assist for Fabregas, goal for Batshuayi. Nothing new there. And this man is really taking the episode by storm. Michi Batshuayi, what a player he is. Um, honestly, I can't answer the question as to why he's been loaned out in real life. But look at that for a finish off the post. And he just don't get more upper echelon than that. It's 1-0 already. Crossing to the centre now. And nearly an equaliser off the post. And into the Pickford's hands. And of also proving they're not here to just be absolutely destroyed. They're coming for a fight. And well, they nearly equalised. Good that from Batshuayi. Playing with Fabregas now. Says Fabregas. Tries to find Batshuayi back in again here. Batshuayi got in. Batshuayi with the header. Oh, nearly a terrible goal to concede for Walsall. It didn't go in there. Drink water with a hit now. And that's easy for the keeper. What an absolute mess of a goal that would have been from a Walsall perspective. Here comes Torgan Hazard for the boost. Driving in at the Walsall defence. Still Torgan Hazard. He's going to shoot. Oh, I thought he scored a brilliant goal. He's had a good game so far. And that was nearly a brilliant goal to top it off. Fabregas. Bailey. Batshuayi. Torgan Hazard. Batshuayi. Fabregas. Can he find an option? Batshuayi is the option. Batshuayi. Oh, and he's deadly from there. Brilliant pass from Fabregas. Batshuayi just couldn't help himself to win another goal. And we've made it 2-0 here again. Pretty mediocre display from the second team, but we do it again just about. And that's another goal for Batshuayi, as you would expect. A deadly finish when he gets from there. But Fabregas, that's for a disguised ball in. Great first touch. He's steadied himself. Found the corner. Classic Batshuayi. Whipped in here by Fabregas. And it's Torgan Hazard's header. And it's off the line. I thought it was going to be in. Zuma finishes it off. 3-0 to the Chels. And it's Kurt Zuma who gets it in there. I honestly thought Torgan Hazard was going to score with that initial header. Look at this. The corner coming, comes in from Fabregas. Great header off the line. But Zuma's always going to win that. 6 for 3. 3-0. Three Alonso. Fabregas. First time on the ball now for Loftus-Cheek. It's a beautiful pull to find him. Loftus-Cheek is in. Loftus-Cheek with a shot. Oh, and he's in the post. Just on the pitch. Gorgeous from Fabregas. Unlucky from Loftus-Cheek. Hazard. Oh, Loftus-Cheek's in here. Ruben Loftus-Cheek for four. Oh, brilliant save for the keeper. Well played. And there's the full-time whistle. Again, we do the doctor order. We get the win. It's 3-0 this time. Two goals for Batshuayi. One for Zuma. Clean sheet. Through to the fifth round. Fabregas with a 10 rating there, wow. Right, guys, I've got some more training to do here. By the way, Morata has just won Player of the Month for January, and it's obviously fantastic to see him continually, continuously winning Player of the Month, and wow, it's a really, really positive session too, nice. Right, guys, we are finally back to league fixtures now. We've got two more to run at the episode. We've got Leicester away, and then Swansea away, so two big games here, and if we pick up six points in this, then it's really, really looking like that we're going to be taking the Premier League title if it doesn't look like that already. But um, I mixed up a little bit of what would be the normal team, so I've brought in Van Hinko and Zappa Costa for Munir and Kante, as they did indeed feature a little bit in the the cup game so apart from that it's the full team so let's go Munia up to Morata Morata spins looks left for Hazard it's not a bad option to have Eden Hazard's in Eden Hazard oh what a cool finish that is into the corner on his left foot Eden Hazard does what he does best and we take the lead there really good start there. look at this from Morata though just caressed it into his path on his right foot and a gorgeous finish on his left from Hazard look at that just strokes it in one in already Bakayoko Morata dropped off here for Hazard Hazard now, and look at Alexandro get down this side. Alexandro with a chance for a pullback, maybe to Morata. Morata's in there. Good save, Insigne on the head, and he scores with his head. Lorenzo Insigne is certainly not how we'd expect to net with him, but he's done it again, and I did not mean to do that. I just pressed X. I, maybe that's Insigne's default celebration. I don't know, but I do apologise. But look at that great header. He really nicked in there against a tall man. Well played, Insigne. Well in, 2-0. Morata here. Controls it up front. Morata wants runners coming off him. Insigne is one of those runners. Lorenzo Insigne on his left for this time. Oh, and I thought he made it again. It's actually going to be a corner. Morata cushions that on nicely. Alexandro. Hazard. Hazard now with Alexandro back in there. Alexandro for the Blues. Morata with a header. Oh, what a header it is too. Bang into the top corner. Off the bar. And I think it clipped off the bar. But Alexandro with just that gorgeous, perfect, perfectly timed cross into the middle. And it's Morata on his head with what is a wonderful, wonderful header to get. It's 19th of the season. Look at this. Hazard flicked around the corner. It's always that same move. And look at this for a header. There's just no chance for anyone there. Off the bar and in. What a header. Ball to the centre here. Drop back again. And what a goal we've just conceded there. Straight from kickoff. Slimani scores an absolute screamer. Look at this. They started tapping it around us like Barcelona. 
It's just classic of EA, but look at this movement. It's, I just couldn't really do anything about it. There goes the clean sheet for Courtois, who is losing quite a few these days. So Marnie gets eighth in the league. Really good stuff, that. Baker. Lovely ball, that. Hazard now in space, and he's got time to get the Leicester defence. Hazard, Morata, and Hazard comes on the end of it. Hazard! Oh, that's what he does. That is what he does. That is why he was the best player in the Premier League. Look at that. The way he whipped into the top corner on the first shot. And dude on Sterling can't believe what he's seeing here. Coming back from there, he's going to be get a Premier League medal in just a moment. But, oh my God, what a goal this was, my friends. Take another look at it again. It's just classic Eden Hazard. He drops into Morata. Morata just flips it back around the corner. I could have easily just ran that in and tapped it around Schmeichel, but... He does it the hard way, this man. What a finish. Ooh, transfer for Leicester to get another one back here. Man on the edge, shot. Easy for Courtois. Transfer again for Leicester. Ball wide. It's wide again, though. And there's the full-time whistle, my friends. A 4-1 victory. Um, two goals for Hazard and then one for Morata and Insigne. Of course, never nice to lose the clean sheet. But it was a wonderful goal that we did concede. The only shot on target in the whole game. Brought in a few players in there, too. Baker, Torgan, Hazard and Sterling all got runouts in there. But Hazard, man of the match. And we march on. Here we go then, guys. Again, we've got our fourth game of the episode now. It's away to Swansea in the showers in Wales. Uh, mixed up a little bit. The front three, you could say, is weakened. But we've got some good players in there that should be able to score for us. Especially Abraham and Torgan Hazard. Rudy Grunzuma getting a run out too. And yeah, let's go. Munier through the legs to Bakayoko. Bakayoko now up. With a chance now for Torgan Hazard and Rudiger's in here. It's Antonio Rudiger versus the goalkeeper Rudiger. And he tried to sneak it in there. Rudiger on the rebound though. Oh, an absolute mess. And he just didn't really have the finishing. He came absolutely charging up from the back. And Torgan Hazard fed him in beautifully. And well, it's actually a really good block to stop the, the second header there. But it should have been a goal initially. Munia. Kante. Bakayoko. Nice open pitch here. Swansea leaving us plenty of space for another. Alexandra Rocket, please. Good stop. Torgan Hazard again with the corner in here. Rudiger's header and he stopped off the line again by Fabianski. Alexandra, oh, beautiful pass. Torgan Hazard's in here. Torgan Hazard might be able to, be, be able to get goal himself here. Torgan Hazard goes near post. Classic of stuff of his older brother there and he couldn't find the finish. Alexandra. Oh, look at the space. Torgan Hazard's in again. They've left themselves so open at the back here. Torgan Hazard maybe could have found the pass. Waited because Boga's in space, but it comes to Munier. Munier now to Boga. Have we waited too long? I think we have. Torgan Hazard comes in anyway. Oh, and scores an absolute screamer. Maybe we didn't wait too long. Maybe we waited the perfect amount of time because what a goal that is by Torgan Hazard. Wow. The highlight of the episode, that. What a hit that is. Oh, my Lord. It looked a really slow counter attack to me. It looked like we killed it, but... Tap to Boga here, he whipped it around the corner. And look at the way he comes onto this. Absolutely volleys it, rifles it, top corner. And that's one for Torgan Hazard to remember. What a goal. Oh my lord, what have I just seen? What is happening? Oh, and Baki openly scored an own goal. Oh my god, my heart was in my mouth there. What an absolute mess at the back there. And I thought they would have punished us. Bakayoko. Perfect pass to Killian Hazard, who might be able to join his brother here on the goal scoring party. Killian Hazard chopped back. Killian Hazard. Tammy Abraham. Oh, he comes back to haunt Swansea here. They had him on loan for a season, but he's back now and he doesn't care about not celebrating. To be honest, they didn't give him that much game time. And when he's netted against them there to seal the deal, and it's Abraham with the goal. It's actually Killian Hazard there who gets himself the assist. Lovely pullback. Um, into the area, look at this, but Abraham with a late arriving run, a volley I believe on the left foot, so his weak foot there, but he just smashed it through Fabianski, we get the tune and away win to cap off, it's been a nice episode. And there is a full time whistle, so we got a little bit twingy at the end there, but Killian Hazard just sealed the deal and then there was no, no doubt whatsoever, so um, yeah, nice win that, Torgan Hazard, man of the match, he's had a really good episode actually to be fair, and uh, we dominated them there, they had us on possession though, they were a good football inside, but... In terms of chances wise, we really had them. And we've got some more training to do here. I am expecting George McEachern to now become a silver player. Yeah, he has done. And there's improvements for both Stu John Sterling and George McEachern there. And also some nice stuff going on for Nathan Ake. And well, guys, that is where this episode is going to have to come to an end. Next episode, well, we have got some of the biggest games you will ever see. This is the only one you're going to see for now, but you will, we will be playing our round of 16 Champions League opponents midweek after this game, so we need to decide how we're going to do the resting for that one, but there's going to be so many other big games in it. It's going to be a crazy episode. Of course, lots more is going to be going on, not just games. I'm also dealing with the squad, etc., etc., but yeah, this is going to be insane. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, if we can get all the wins in that episode, then it's going to look good, isn't it? Um, we only got to round of 16 in the Champions League last time before we were eliminated by Real Madrid. Who's going to be our position this time, though? You have to wait and see. It's a big one. It is a big one. And I'll show you guys that next episode. But for now, drop a like if you have enjoyed it. I'll be back very, very soon with a brand new episode of the Chelsea Career Mode. And for now, peace out.